I'm going to give you three things you can score on that you'll use. Somebody will use it and win a game. And you'll say, he was right. He said that we were going to win a game on this. Let me give you first an out-of-bounds play. Three men take the ball out of bounds right there. Let's have five set up here on the corner, five guy. Let's have four on the other corner right there. And let's have two, two in here and one over here. All right, two and one. So you guys, you know, two and one, you're kind of like in this situation, all right? And how about just over here, like a little bit like this? Big, wide, yeah. Same thing for you. Now, this was one of our basic sets. We got more layups off this damn thing. Not running this, the thing I'm going to show you. This is something we save special. Just running our little thing, we call this tap head. And tap head could be screen across the guard, come off, screen him, okay, come there, get the ball, go off the back pick opposite, and then you come across the screen, shot, no shot, you come across, you come high all the time. You roll back low, right to the basket. So if we switch, we get the switch, boom, and he's right there. Okay, you get the hell out of there when you pass it. Well, that's tap head, let's do that first. Here's tap head. When do you, hold on, when do you start your out of bounds play? Do you start the out of bounds play when the man slaps the ball? Or do you start your out of bounds play when the referee hands him the ball? Because there's one second difference there. And if you have a long, a long out of bounds play that takes a lot of time, you better go on the handoff. We don't slap. We go on the when the referee hands it to him, that guy takes it. And we teach that guy going out of bounds, you better tie your shoes. You better do whatever you have to do. Don't get out of bounds. Let the referee hand you the ball until we're set up. Likewise, these guys got to get ready to get set up quickly. So once that referee hands them the ball, you're going from there. So I'll be the referee for now. Okay, I'll take the ball. Here we go. Here's our tap head. Ready? Play. Get him. Good. Across. Roll. Right back. Nice. Okay. Next. Same setup. Right away. Tap head two. Tap head two. We do the same thing, except when he comes and screens you, come off his back, right down the lane, right down the lane. And now you're, uh, you're going to come back off this thing right here, and we get you as a second guy coming. All right, here we go. Ready? Tap head two. Here we go. Ready? Uh, come in a little bit more there. Yeah, I like it better that way, okay? Ready? Play. Get him. Curl hard. Look for it. Right back. There's what you got. You're going to get a layup. Or you're going to get this jump shot and the big guy rolling back at the end. That's tap head two. All right, now let me show you the little special version. So you run this, you run this, you run this, and then at the end, when you need it, you come to this, okay? Same, same exact setup all over again. All right. This time, when one comes over the top, be a little bit, just a little bit tighter to start out, okay? When one starts to go, screen, or watch, hold it. Come one man and watch. Turn right around and nail the two guy who co uh, come right off from that way. And now, back pick, flare to the corner, and that's what you're going to get at the end. You're going to have that baseline pass guy wide open at the end. Guy on the ball has to do a good job of ball fake, and I know that you all work on telling your people, if you want to throw the pass to the corner, when the referee hands you the ball, you ball fake here to get the defense to move over because you want to throw there. So likewise, if you know where you want to throw here, opposite, you start ball faking to the outside to make the defense move over. All right, do it again. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Go. Good. Screen him. Come right off it. Good. Back pick. Here it is. That's your shot. Okay, you win the game on that one right there. 